Hey yo everybody, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome to our very first ever Park Beyond Coaster Spotlight. That is right. Today we're gonna be looking at the volcano coaster created by the Madman. That is right. Our very first ever Park Beyond Coaster Spotlight. We have this coaster open to the public. The guests are gonna come with us on a journey across a gigantic volcano. Why don't we get right on into it? All right, welcome, welcome everybody. Here's the madman's crazy coaster that he made with his beta key. Actually using some volcano scenery that the game provides. I did not even know that that was a thing. And it even looks like there's a hole dug out so that you could ride a coaster through. What's most impressive to me is that the madman has actually made a boarding station for his coaster. This might just be the first ever boarding station that we'll ever have seen in this game. And you can actually tell the struggle that he went through with the building tools to get this actually in here. Just looking at this makes reminds me of how hard the building tools are. There's so much jank. There's so many things wrong with this, but he did it. He pulled it off. And hey, the guests love it. So why not? They're all they're all ready to go, and so am I. So why don't we ride this with the guests? Hopefully we don't have I've never actually ridden a coaster with the guests, I don't think, in Park Beyond. Hopefully we don't have flailing arm problems like we do in Planet Coaster. That would be might be the one thing that this game does better than Planet Coaster if we don't have flailing arms in the POV. All right, I'll cut to it when it's ready. Um, <laughs> I usually do this like coaster stats, it's green across the board. But here we have four star profitability, one amazement, four fun rating, ride duration. It doesn't even tell me how long the coaster is. Yeah, there's like not much to look at here. Profit. I even tried recoloring the coaster and I couldn't I couldn't do it I don't think the recoloring is a beta feature a feature in the beta. I should say. Yeah, so there's no ride stats Oh, it's taken off. Let's go. Okay, here we go Wow, I have there's a rock in the way watch out everybody. We're getting hit by rocks uh, I don't even know if Ma the madman tested his coaster This is my first time riding it. What you guys have seen is all that I have seen so we're going to be riding this together for the first time ever. Going with a traditional um, lift hill. I have not even really used the lift hill. Um, I just I just get things going with cannons, but I like to see it. So I don't see flailing arms so far. This is good. Okay. We're going down a lift hill now. This whole thing is a lift hill. What have you done, madman? Why are we riding a lift hill? Wow, that is just superiorly janky. Oh my god, look at all the kinks and jiggles and the wiggly wonks. Oh my god, right into a cannon and right into a rock that launches us. Wow. And up around the uh, volcano here, so much jank, it makes me sick to my stomach. Let's go across another cannon. Up in the sky here, just getting our necks broken in every single way possible. Oh my good, go googly moogly. Okay, finally the coaster's starting to get a little bit smooth here. And then a third cannon launch. Oh my god, look at that, we got the sun setting in the background. Beautiful stuff here. Oh, thank god I can finally breathe and give my neck a break. Holy good googly. My goodness gracious, this is just a complete dumpster fire of a disaster but hey we're on a volcano so fires are allowed okay down and through the volcano this is the big selling point of the coaster all right no banking turns on this coaster no smoothing nothing <laughs> oh wow is this our, our fourth cannon launch now i don't know i have lost count at this point here we go up and around, breaking our neck again and again. Gonna have to sign an NDA, a disclaimer, to get on this coaster. Oh, we do have flailing arms. Look at that, but they're kind of off to the side. What's worse is I'm looking through somebody's skull. Oh, wow, look at that inversion. It makes no sense at all. All right. We have some broken track coming up here. Snap. And more broken track. It's what I call a teleporting transfer track. Love to see it. And finally, a nice long stretch of breathing room to get away from the chaos, 
to give your neck and spine some time to heal. I feel like the coaster sounds have changed too. I'm not hearing any wow, 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 wow. All right, through the rock boulder tunnel. Up and around. I think those are custom rocks. Getting some scenery in there. That guy just gave us a double thumbs up. They like the ride. Oh, we are we are coming to a crawl. I don't even know if we're gonna make it back into the station here. They're they are overreacting. This is not that much fun, guys. <laughs> Who would have thought? My first park life speed feature would be a complete disaster. I expected more of you, madman. <laughs> but you can only do what you can with the tools that are given to you. <laughs> it's not necessarily his fault. He is a good coaster builder. What is this person doing here? Uh, hello? What is this random guy doing standing there? What is with your hat, lady? She's wearing one of those Hershey kisses on her head. Okay, we are not riding that again. That was a complete disaster. Holy good googly boogly. I have never wanted to get off a coaster faster in my life. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. What have you done? Oh my gosh. So... What I told, I, I had a couple people that I told to make a coaster, and I believe the madman is the only one that actually got one done, so it's 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 a modest start. <laughs> I have lost words. I did not expect this. We have this gigantic map. I think it goes from like here to here, all the way up to here, and up there, and all the way back here. And I guess Madman has decided to do it all right here. So what I find with this game is making small coasters is actually very hurtful in terms of getting the coaster smooth and that sort of thing. I'm not gonna go in here and, and edit it, but like this kink here, there's a note there. We can actually bring this in and smooth that out. We can bank it a little bit more. I have messed around with the game's coaster building enough to know that you can actually smooth the coasters. You can see here that this is a pretty smooth banking turn. However, the smaller the pieces, you can start to see that it gets like wobbles. Uh, a great example of that would be here right? This is a piece made by the developers. This is a small inversion. How much do you want to bet is if I made this thing this big, it would not look like that. It's the splines. The splines don't do well on shorter segments. And I, I just, I feel like they needed to design their tech in a way where it su was supported the smaller segments. And then it will require more pieces to go longer distances. Where this game excels the most is the long sprawling exploration coasters. And I suspect a lot of the future spotlights that we're gonna see on release, unless a lot of things get fixed by then, which hopefully they do, you know, the, the funnest coasters should be the ones, or at least the ones that are the least jank with the most, the least amount of snapping, popping, and neck breaking situations should be the coasters that go long stretches like this. That seems to be where the game performs and when you get this scrambly spaghetti mess is when everything becomes a hot mess but a hot mess is okay because this is a volcano coaster I, I gotta say i like the creativity here madman put some volcanoes in made some interesting terrain tried to wrap the coaster around there tried to do something fun with it even went and tried to make a boarding station and it's just so funny to see this to me because it's like this is probably something this is probably worse than the very first coaster you ever saw on planet coaster <laughs> like it's just, it's like I, I saw i think i saw a comment on youtube I, and some, somebody left a comment saying, this game is like praising a toddler for their amazing drawing. Meanwhile, it's a stick figure with both the legs at different lengths. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're looking at here. I'm like, really good job, man, man. This is really, really good job. You did a, a wonderful job. I'm going to take a picture of this and put it on the fridge. You should be really proud of yourself. Meanwhile, we all know this is a complete dumpster fire. <laughs> I, lo 
love it. And uh, like I said, it's it's like the tools that are given to you. You know, I, I feel like if he were to make this exact same coaster and planet coaster, it'd actually be pretty good. And he'd have a lot more thieving and stuff. Now, the one thing that this game excels at over planet coaster is the terrain tools. You know, you can do a lot with the terrain. And, and I think that's why I feel in the future, the exploration coasters are going to do the, be the most performant coasters that we end up riding. It's a shame that they don't tell us how long our coaster was, how many inversions it had, what are the stats. Uh, that stuff is really disappointing to me because we want to like differentiate the coasters from one another. What makes this coaster different than my coasters that I've made that you guys have seen on the show? I don't know. There's literally nothing. We just have to go off of a visual. It's like, well, the difference is this. This is the difference. What we see here. That's, uh, that's pretty much everything I have to say about this contraption here. <laughs> the Madman is officially a pioneer as the uh, very first ever coaster spotlight for Park Beyond. So I will leave you with this. I don't know if this game is going to have a sharing system like a Steam Workshop like Planet Coaster does where you can upload and save and share your files with people. I don't know if that's going to be a thing, but um, the files are literally kilobytes worth of data and Madman just dragged and dropped a file on the Discord to me. I plugged it into my folder and uh, boom, it worked super easy so on release if there is no workshop our backup plan is to let people drop files into google drive and i just and then a screenshot to show me if it looks okay and then i just uh, load it up into my game and go take a look so we should be able to feature stuff going forward this is my first test doing it in the beta so hopefully a lot of the stuff gets fixed by release and uh maybe maybe we'll have some more promising coasters to look forward to in the future all right there it is ladies and gentlemen that is the madman's coaster what did you think throw your comments down below and that's going to do it for us in today's episode of coaster spotlight all right everyone i'll see you in the next video bye now